I'm Kyle Hannon, the world record holder in surviving the most chemotherapies. On our way to chemotherapy right now. Looking forward to it. Feeling awesome. I can't even believe how good I'm feeling right now. It's start. Man, I went through it. I didn't even realize it until I got better. But man, that was that was a rough one. The chemo, the previous chemo I was on before this one, plus the shingles and plus a virus. It was rough. So thanks so much for the encouragement and the prayers because it worked. I can't even believe it. I was getting so I was so bad. I was up and down. It was so much pain. Thank you, Ara, who's recording me right now. The care that she put in and the love. I can't even explain it. She she did so much for me that beyond words. Um, another thing I did is I utilized some posture alignment therapy, most notably from the Agassiz method um, for the issues I was having in my body. Shingles emanates from the spine and I've used that, the Igoski method and I've used partial alignment therapy, a form of physical therapy, all through my treatment. But if you ever want to need any help with pain or anything, holler or you can go see uh, the Catermoles at Igoski Phoenix or there's uh, you can see Rick Mathis in Austin, Texas, or Carol Gamboa in Chicago. Um, they all they all can work with you and are just great. Uh, this could have taken me out. That's why we delayed chemo twice because of my situation with my immune system and the way my donor immune system attacks my body. It makes magnifies everything. So this was a very serious issue. It was very painful even into my teeth. Very high level pain. Everybody, people, a lot of people say, oh, I can handle pain and stuff. It's not about handling it. I don't take medication for pain until my heart rate um, gets 20 to 30 beats per minute above my resting heart rate, which is right now my resting heart rate's around 55 to 60. So if my heart rate got up to 75, 80, I'd hit it first with some Tylenol, extra strength. And my next line of action usually is an oxy. I'm supposed to avoid public places because my immune system is compromised. And everything I do required for the whole month required me to rest, to sleep. I was sleeping up to 13, 14 hours a day. So if I would go anywhere or do anything, I would need to sleep ahead of time. So I did everything I could to get ready for church. And I thought, oh man, I don't think I'm going to make it. But Naomi, I, I asked Naomi to kick me in the butt. My next door neighbor, sister, great woman of God. She did, she got me up and rolled with me to church. We had the most amazing time ever, fellowship. I got there and I was not doing too great, to be honest, and I've, I'm able to push through quite a bit. My body was even shaking a lot. I was, and I just, I just said, screw it. And I went all in and worshiped with everything I could. I praised with our church body. And I remember this song that's playing right now, I'll keep, all hail King Jesus. I was worshiping to that, but I felt the Holy Spirit so strong that it it pushed above anything I was experiencing. And I went home that day and I went to sleep. I slept maybe 12 hours. I woke up. Uh, actually, I fell asleep in my chair first. I was in pain. I've had to sleep in my chair. I'm not. I wasn't able to sleep in bed much because of the pain and everything. And I woke up and I thought, wow, it feels better. I'm gonna try to sleep in bed. I slept in bed for a long time. I woke up, everything was gone. No pain, no more terrible feeling, like a huge thing had been lifted from me. And since then, it's been, I've had amazing energy. I've only had to sleep about six and a half to eight hours a night. Uh, I, I feel above 100%. I'm probably not there, but because I was so sick for, and, and pushed through it, and even, you know, just kept working. I feel amazing. I can't, I'm even annoying everybody. I'm too, ah, I don't need to drink coffee or nothing. And I put uh, essential oil, uh, these on my head, probably 10 times a day, which I don't recommend. You usually dif diffuse that or you dilute it. But I've, over time, I, that stuff has saved me so much. Like it's, it consists of like clothes, cinnamon, oregano that I've gotten my body used to where I can just put it in my nose, I can swallow it in my head, 
man, it doesn't really hurt me that much. It's like eating spicy food or something. It's, maybe it was the medication. In fact, I know that was a huge thing for me. But oh man, can I can tell you, I can tell you eye to eye, without a doubt, that prayer came through huge. I, I serve in a, the God of the Bible and I believe with everything and again and again he's rescued me when it felt like it was my time to move in heaven and, and I am just filled with just so much love and joy and gratefulness and uh, I can't even express how amazed I am. I just, um, I can't, if you're going through something right now, if you feel lonely, if you feel depressed, anxious, I can't recommend enough. One thing you can do sitting right here is you can, I, I challenge you in fact to try this, to listen to, listen to this song, All Hail King Jesus. Put that on and sing it. Sing it, write it on and ask God for help and smile, put your arms up, give them praise, believe, give it a chance, surrender to the Lord, the King of Kings, Jesus is Lord, He is the King, He is the King of heaven and earth, go for it, go, give it a shot, and I guarantee you're going to feel better, smile, do it, go for it, no matter how crappy you're feeling, give it a shot, because it works, get up, march, March in victory. I'm marching along with you. Whatever you're going through, get into it. Give it all up to Him. Give Him all the praise. Yes. All hail King Jesus. Sing it with me. Woo Let's go. Love you all. Thank you, Lord, again. Get up, get moving. Don't stop, don't quit. It's gonna get better soon. Things are gonna shift, just dive in. And if you can make that effort and you feel it, you feel God hit you, and you feel better after what I just asked you to do, what I challenge you to do, go find a group of Bible nuts. Get into a small group of Bible nuts. I don't, I don't know, you, big, nothing against big churches, in it, but you get in a small group of real Bible believing Jesus people and the chances are you're going to build some amazing relationships and it's going to help you and you need it we need it I believe that and unfortunately there are some places that you're going to go into and you may if you feel excluded or you feel like uh, in a place that you walk into or the people are judgmental or that um they make you feel small or like you don't know anything. Um, that's not the place to be. Shake, shake the dust off your feet like Jesus did, and give it, a, give another place. And then if you need a recommendation, I'd love to help you find that. But get into it. It's the Bible tells us we we need to be in the habit of meeting with believers. We we need one another, no matter what, no matter what you believe. I love you. Thanks for watching. We're gonna get into the chemo now. Feels so good, the birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming. What a beautiful yellows and purples outside. All right, we're done with chemo. Feeling pretty good. A little bit, a little bit tired. A little bit of a headache, but nothing bad. Otherwise, feeling awesome. All done. 
go home and take a nap.